name is Daniel Choi. And I'm Grace Choi. Welcome to this video. Today, we're going to introduce this awesome book called The Candy Makers. There are four mysterious people that you don't know their faces. So mysterious. But anyways, their names are Logan, Philip, Daisy, and Miles. Oh, and the author is Wendy Max. So, mm -hmm. the setting is a candy factory, but not just anyone. It's called, um... Uh, uh, life is sweet, but why would anyone name a candy factory like that? But still, the um, name is pretty good. Yes, and this book of, is about some candy makers. It's self-explanatory. Yeah. The so the story is Logan lives a simple life. Like Logan is um, one of the very main characters. Like very very main. Daisy is happy as a spy. Yes, Daisy is a spy. Phillips wants to make music. He likes violins. Miles is very allergic. He's allergic to the color pink and rainbows. We don't know why. It's just weird. So, but when Phillips' father tries to buy the violin, yes, he's going to buy it. Um, Philip decides he needs the other's help. Will the factory be sold? Not if they can help it. <laughs> but will they help it? Read on to find out. It's very mysterious. Yes, we made it very mysterious. Oh, and it's just book one out of two. There's this, two books. This is the sequel. Yeah, I don't know what the sequel is, but it sounds fun. The Candy Makers and The Great Chocolate Chase. I haven't read it yet. So self-explanatory. Yeah. It's about a great chocolate chase. <laughs> and plus, we need a better cheering up voice. Yay, like this? Yes. Anyways, um, my favorite part of the, of, about the book is that it's split into four main parts. And um, like each part is narrated by the narrator, but it's about like one of these four people. Yeah. So, there's two Logan parts, which we don't know, but the first Logan part just says Logan, and the second Logan part says Logan again. <laughs> and then, um, Philip has a part, Miles has a part, and Daisy has a part. I like Daisy's part best because I like being a spy. Yeah, but it doesn't have any thwacking and punching and stuff. Yeah, it's not violent. Oh, and I like this book because even if they want to win, they help Philip because they want to... Save the factory and, and eat forgive. some more candy. Yeah. And they forgive Daisy even if um, she's a spy. They were like freaky when she told them. They were like, what? And all that. <laughs> so very funny. And um, we're going to, you're going to learn about the second Candy Makers book. When I'm done reading it, and we're doing the next um, book review, there it is also very thick. Yes, I think it's it's a little thicker than this one. Yes, check the pages. See how many pages each one has. I'll check this one. You check that one. Oh, just check it. No. Why? Then give me a, the other book. Oh. Okay. Check how many. Okay, 453. 533. All right, that's decided. Hey, there's a few pages in that cover thing. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let's not get distracted. No matter how thick these book books are, they're still books. Yes, and I like books. Yes, and I do too. Who doesn't? Yeah. Who does it? So, that's pretty much it. And plus, it's a really good book, so you should totally read it. But what? wait, but wait, you haven't given your opinion about this book. Wait, I did. I did. You did. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it then. Bye. Bye. See you next time. Please subscribe to our video. That's the red button. Yeah. And